Welcome to the Trust Vote Report, the Super Tuesday edition. Well, first up, I want to say thank you for having me here. And I know that well, it's we're always good to get you in Ohio. I know someone's about to be harassed who's doing evil, or there's yeah. a mandamus about to be filed in Perhaps court that's what we do. in the we're name of the people. Teams. But the big thing is, is that what we're here to do, folks, and I think it's very important that we talk about making elections transparent, trackable, and publicly verified. You know, the big difficulty that we have in this country is cynicism. Uh, cynicism meaning that in the 2016 election, Bob, if not voting was a presidential candidate, they would have won by a landslide. But you know, the bad thing about our democracy is if we don't work on getting this fixed, we're going to be in a situation that uh, it could be a heck of a November. There's a lot of people who don't have faith in elections, and what we're really trying to do is to restore hope. Something really special has happened. 80% of the ballots in, counted in 2020 election will have ballot images of each ballot. That's a public record, okay? So I can because get these, we're going to make are, the box these are transparent. Public records? Exactly, they are. We have to fight for them. And the first Why flight, is it public record? You know, I'll, I'll be honest with you. The whole state of Michigan is connected with these devices. Machines are vulnerable to hacking. You and I both know that for years. The things about the vendors is that they have secret software and they claim that nobody can know what's in it. And that's why those images are important, okay? Under federal law, you cannot destroy this. If it's generated in the chain of custody, it must be preserved. And that's not what's happening in Michigan. I think everybody needs to know up there that that was the plan. But you know, the government right now, what are they looking to do? They want to take us back to the old days. Security by obscurity. And that's what we're fighting. And we can't allow that to happen. You know, uh, what I have on the screen right now, I think is pretty remarkable. It is a transparent box and they're going to hand count those ballots. And you know, hopefully someday we can get to the culture of doing something well, like I, that. I saw a transparent box like that in 95 after the Civil War in El Salvador. Right. And the only thing the guerrillas of the yeah. left and the fascists on the right could agree on was yeah. a transparent You've been doing elections box. overseas for many years, didn't you? Yeah, did. Uh, what was your first one? Uh, the first major one I did was, in fact, El Salvador yeah. after the Civil War. Yeah. Did some work in the Maquiladores yeah. in Mexico as well. That gives you a perspective that is very much that the American yeah, people don't really uh, know how important well, elections really are. Well, this is what uh, I'm thinking. If either side would have said, you know, uh, I got friends and they're going to secretly count the vote for yeah. you in this machine. They'll program it and nobody gets to look at yes. the code. There'd still be a civil war in El Salvador. Yeah. Uh, who's going to agree to black box voting, as you call yeah. it? With digital scan voting systems, there are now two official versions of each ballot. The one that you filled out, Mr. Voter or Mrs. Voter, and then one that the machine counted. There are two ballots. Like I said, a ballot goes in the machine, it takes a picture, and then goes into a ledger. You know, uh, why is this important? Chain of custody cannot be broken. If it's generated the chain of custody, it must be preserved. It must be preserved for 22 months. And then, if we could get those copies, we could go ahead and have them put online, like you're seeing right now on the screen. If the Congress says, hey, we want to look at this election, they must have everything that's in the chain of custody. Well, you're right. Chain of custody. Chain right? of custody you, you don't know is a very, very important it. part. It wasn't secured property. Yeah. But you know, uh, Dr. Tom Ryan says, as to the illegal destruction of ballot images, significantly undermines the integrity of the election system that derives all of its tabulation data from those very images. You know, uh, again, why are they destroying this? Why am I filing suit in Florida? Why am I in Virginia, which I got them to save? They came around, okay? Uh, New York, they've been fighting for years to protect this stuff, okay? And, and you know, most of the American people don't even know that these images exist. In this country right now, 
because of the cynicism because sixty percent of the people don't believe elections are real is that we need to be in a situation that we can prove to them elections are real that's how we're going to get those people back because a lot of those people in my belief belong to the mark twain party mark twain said some hundred years ago that if voting made a difference they wouldn't let us do it well here we go let's talk about some election results because it is of course a trust vote Yes, it is. And this is the Super Tuesday edition. It is. So once again, the only people picking up delegates are Joe Biden, who wins Virginia, and Bernie Sanders, who comes in second. Very good. Uh, as predicted, Joe Biden wins another uh, former uh, Confederate state. He's doing well in the Southeast. The conservative part of the Democratic Party he wins North Carolina. Free Press Network began fighting against the oligarchs in 1970 with the Columbus Free Press newspaper. The paper started on the Ohio State University campus as a reaction to the Vietnam War and the Kent State killings. The Columbus Free Press is one of the oldest independent, investigative, activist papers in the United States. We were the first Western newspaper to expose the killing fields in Cambodia, to get a reporter behind the scenes at Wounded Knee, and we've outed neo-Nazis. We were the first gay rights paper. We cover police brutality and government corruption. We lead the current election integrity movement. Free press reporters and volunteers investigated the theft of the 2004 presidential election. We've been exposing the vulnerabilities of electronic voting machines through our reporting and books ever since. We've documented the names of more than 2 million voters deleted from the Ohio voting rolls. Many of them re-registered when we made those lists public. Our congressional testimony and lawsuits have served to contain voter fraud and preserve democracy in our country. Building on decades of telling truth to power, we have developed the Indie Media Center of the Free Press Network. Currently, we publish a monthly newspaper, two websites, two community radio stations, WGRN 94.1 FM and WCRS on both 92.7 and 98.3 FM. Now a video podcasting the multimedia studio provides the new media soapbox that the Central Ohio community needs. Reporting workshops and training is available for budding journalists and content makers. We are strategically located in the capital city of the United States' key battleground state. Remember, as Ohio goes, so goes the nation. We need your help to keep muckraking journalism alive in the heartland. Help us fight against fraud, corruption, and injustice. You can keep the Free Press Network growing with a one-time donation or become a monthly patron. We have a variety of benefits set up for almost any level of support. Help us comfort the afflicted while we afflict the comfortable. So California, 25 million voters, 415 delegates up. They have 23,000 precincts. Hey, they're bigger than a lot of states combined, okay? They're 99% totally digital, 58% Dominion, 27% uh, is Elliott by itself. And they're that. the sixth largest economy yeah. in the world. Yeah. And so it could be their own nation state. Heart Interscific is 14, and election systems, my favorite guys. They only have 0.62%. You know why, Bob? They only have 0.62? Because they don't want to do business there. Because when Deborah Bowen was the Secretary of State, she did a top to bottom review, and they refused to give their software to be analyzed because they're special. But you know, summing things up here, I'm just going to end with this, and I want to thank the audience for having patience with us. Is uh, and I'm going back to my screen. Oh, let's see if it's going to work here. I also want to invite you to join this group. The Scrutineers community is the place where volunteers, activists, and seasoned election experts come together to protect the U.S. elections from interference, discrimination, and errors. 
We're stepping up to play our role right now in advancing and protecting free and fair elections. We're here to serve as a smart, informed, and well-trained fairness force on the ground and online. I'm Emily Levy, the founder of Scrutineers. While our organization is brand new, the experience and expertise behind it are not. I've been working in election protection since 2004, and that's true for many of the dozens of experts who are already members of our new community. I founded Scrutineers because I could see that on one hand, Veterans of the election protection movement have developed powerful and creative ways to bring public oversight to elections, but they don't have enough help to be able to do that everywhere. On the other hand, there are hundreds of thousands or even millions of people who are worried about voter disenfranchisement and worried about election security and have no idea that there's anything they can do about it. Scrutineers exists to bring those two groups of people together to train volunteers and activists to take the clear actions needed to limit the impact of voter suppression and to verify that election results are accurate. There are powerful actions that people like you can take. If we want fair and accurate elections, we need to show up, not just to vote, but to protect the right to vote and the right to have our votes counted accurately. If you're someone who'd like to get involved, Scrutineers is where you can get up to speed on the issues and get trained on what needs to be done and how to do it. If you're a veteran to the movement, Scrutineers can help amplify and expand your work. We even have an organizational membership option. Come check us out today at scrutineers.org, S-C-R-U-T-I-N-E-E-R-S.org, scrutineers.org, and we're on Twitter at Scrutineers US. Scrutineers is a nonpartisan online election protection community. They're working to amplify the work of voting rights and election security groups across the country. Scrutineers is the place to go to learn how to get actively involved in protecting the voters and the votes. We're building together with experts who know what needs to be done with the massive of volunteers who need needed for the for both the primary and general election coming up, okay? Uh, there's a lot more elections before November. We've got state elections and senatorials in a lot of states that we need to be able to work on. Uh, transparency is the solution. Thank you very much. And, uh, you know, at the very end, uh, I want to know that I did everything that I could for my country because I'm not going to have any regrets. I'm going to give it all, and I'm going to do it my seven C's, Bob what I teach them on the road. Character, those seven C's are bridal to me. Character, capacity, credibility, civility. Hey, if you get really good at it, you can call people bad names real nicely, okay? Citizenship, it's your right. It's our country. But you know what the big C for me, Bob? Courage. Courage uh, to stand up. I'm glad you said that and not capitalism. I hope that what we've talked about tonight that people really take a good look at. And you know, make sure you go to Trust Vote. Make sure you go to my site, which is AuditElectionsUSA.org. And I'm also on Facebook as John Robert Brakey. Please join us. Please learn how to understand how things work. Because as I taught my children and everybody around me, it's better to understand than be understood. You were out there scrutinizing yes. so that democracy may prevail. Yes. Well, thank you very much, John Brakey. And uh, this edition of Trust Vote, the Super Tuesday edition.